Welcome back. We're going to talk about the landforms caused by a stream. So the stream is carrying material, and that material eventually is going to be deposited by that stream as it slows down. It doesn't have enough power to hold rocks and soil and sand as it's doing, as, it, as it's flowing. So as the stream tuckers out due to the, the steepness, as the steepness drops and it becomes less steep, it doesn't have as much power and it starts d dumping or depositing the material that it's carrying. Well, this material has to go somewhere, and so we're going to look at the different uh, things that happen to a riverbank based upon the new soil that's been carried from upstream to downstream. So let's look at it together. So when a stream is flowing down a hill or through a river, whatever the speed of that water has a lot to do with the power that that water has, the energy that that water is possessing due to its speed, its kinetic energy, can carry rocks. It can carry sand and dirt and clay and soils and even huge boulders if you have a raging river. So when the, when the speed decreases, as it gets less and less steep, it goes slower and slower. Well, that slow water doesn't have the energy it to haul all of the load that is being carried by the river. And so it starts depositing this load down on the, on the bottom of the stream. So the, the, as it loses speed, it will drop the biggest rocks first and then the smaller rocks and then eventually the sand and then the dirt and the silt. And it will, it will separate all of this deposit. So it's, it's going to sort the deposit as it goes. So when you have these various de depositions or deposits of material, they have various names based on where you see them. So normally a bar is called a sandbar, and you can have a sandbar in the middle of a river if you have a flat area of that river so that it's not rapids at all. It's a very still uh, region of the river. Um, as it's still, it doesn't have any speed. That speed uh, is lacking power, and the power is based on potential energy due to you know how high that river is and what the gradient is. So if you have a very uh, small gradient where it's not going very fast, very fast, it can basically dump all of its dirt on the bottom of the of the stream. And if you have lots and lots of dirt deposited, that that dirt can actually go above the level of the water, and that is or right under the level of the water, and that would be called a bar. So sandbars are really dangerous, um, say at the beach, because a boat might not see the the sandbar under the surface, but get caught in it as it's going. If you go all the way to the end of a river where it's being uh, dumped into a huge lake or into the ocean, all of that material that's being carried by the water, um, there's so very little gradient right there. It's so flat. That water is so, uh, moving so slowly that there's not a lot of power and it starts dumping all of its the material that it's carrying in the, in the water and starts dumping it out. Well. As it dumps, a delta is essentially a sandbar at the end of the line. So the, all the river is carrying all that material, and it gets to the very end, and right before it goes into the ocean, it's starting to dump all of the material, and that material starts growing. And it can grow so big that it can actually cut, fill the river. And then the water has to go somewhere, and the water kind of jumps its banks and makes a new river. And so a delta normally becomes um, almost like a horsetail where you have lots of, lots of streams coming out of what used to be the river. And those are called distributaries. Okay, so a tributary is a, is a stream that flows into a river. A distributary is a stream that flows out of a river because all the rivers clogged up with the material that it dumped. So this is a picture of the formation of a delta. So you have the large river as it's coming down and then as it starts laying down the deposits of, of bigger and then smaller and smaller and smaller material, okay, so big stones and then sand and then clay and silt, whatever, the water still has to flow, so the water actually starts flowing inside the sandbar, okay? So you can actually grow out into the, into the sea what used to be the material that's being brought down the river. So the delta grows into the ocean. 
So at the Gulf of Mexico, for instance, the delta, the Mississippi Delta, is continuously dropping material that used to be uh, up in the north north part of the country and it's carried down the river because of its power and then dumps uh, at the mouth. And so you end up with lots and lots and lots more land uh, there at the delta. It starts growing. And then the streams, as it jumps its banks, the streams um, grow and you end up with more and more distributaries. Another very interesting that ha thing that happens is whenever you have a flood, the water comes over the banks of the river. Well, that water is carrying stuff with it. The water has rocks and the water has um, sand and, and silt and clay and all the stuff that the water is carrying, all of that stuff gets, gets dumped out of the, out of the uh, channel of the riverbank. And what happens is as it immediately comes over its banks, it normally dumps the biggest material. So it, the, the biggest coarsest, biggest rocks that it's holding will be dumped first. Then the water keeps going. Well, when, when the flood is over, that material is still on the riverbank. So the riverbank gets higher and higher and higher, and that's called a levee. A levee is any kind of a, kind of a mud a wall that rides along the side of a, of a river. And you can have a man-made levee to try to, to pr protect it from flooding, or you would just have a natural levee because every time it floods, it's going to dump more and more material and the banks get higher. And of course, it has to have a worse flood in order to go over the banks. But if it does, then those that levee gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, another kind of a, a landform that you'll see is a swamp. So if you don't have a lot of drainage into a river, so you've got water in an area, but you don't have a naturally cut stream that goes from that wet area to the river that can drain the water off, you end up with swamp land. And then the swamp has so much water eventually that the water has to go somewhere and it's gonna run downhill. And sometimes it chooses its own little tiny river, the river that's draining that swamp, and that's called a Yazoo tributary. And a Yazoo tributary will sometimes go miles and miles along a river. So a river would say be on the left, and then you end up with a swamp somewhere uh, uh, beside, and then you've got a little tributary or a little river that's draining that swamp that'll go beside the big river for miles before it eventually goes into the river. A tributary is any stream that goes eventually into a river. Well, a Yazoo tributary can go alongside the river for a long, long time before it eventually uh, joins the river. So here's some pictures to help explain what I just said. Look on the right first. You can see that at flood stage, the material that that water is holding dumps along the sides. And then after the flood, you have a higher wall. And then if it floods again, it's going to dump on top of the levee again and you, you get higher and higher and higher wall along the stream banks and this is called a levee. Now sometimes the depth of the river is based upon its carving down into the ground and sometimes the depth of the river is based upon the fact that every time it floods it's going to drop some material along the sides of the bank and make the bank steeper. Okay, Along the uh, on the left picture you can see the swamp area that's to the right of that meandering river and that swamp is trying to get rid of some water, but it doesn't have a stream directly into the river. But it needs to get rid of some of that water, so the water just goes, goes downhill from wherever that swamp is, and you end up with a tiny little, essentially its own little river that runs parallel to the, to the big river and eventually goes into it, and that's called a Yazoo tributary.